I've been in real estate for 15 years, so I know buying a home can be tough. Buying on your own, even tougher. Yinny is breaking tradition by moving out, but her family doesn't know. When are you going to tell your parents? When the moving trucks arrive? She's never made decisions for herself and is terrified of making a mistake. It makes me uneasy. What? I have to get to the bottom of her indecision. I'm not sure. Not used to that. I suppose this will do. She won't be doing it alone, but she will be doing it by herself. My name is Yinny and I am 34 years old and I work for a reinsurance company. I am living at my parents' home. I'm very close to my grandmother and about two years ago, she got diagnosed with stage four cancer. I was able to take care of her. Now that she's recovered, I feel I can move on with my life. In a traditional Chinese family, a woman normally doesn't leave home until she's married to another family. My parents will be against me leaving home. My family doesn't know that I am searching for a new home. It'll be hard for me to leave because I'm terrible at making decisions. My parents make decisions for me and I don't really have any decisions to make. Living at home with mom and dad certainly has its benefits, but Yinny is ready to leave the nest and start building her own future. I'm going to meet her at her parents to find out what she needs. So this is the living room. Do you ever get to use this room by yourself? There's always someone at home, my grandma's home. So she tends to like to watch me watch TV. All right, so you get no privacy here. Pretty much. There's never enough space. I have a curfew. I feel like an adult living a child's life. One thing I love about this whole house is we get a lot of sunshine. So lots of natural light, that's on your wish list. So over here is my kitchen. And what I like is that there's a space for me to work and there's space for a microwave, a toaster oven. So you want a lot of cabinet space and you want a lot of counter space, that's on your wish list. This is my bedroom. So this is where you, wow, you do your work here. You sleep here and you hang out when you don't have any privacy downstairs. That's right. Ideally, I'd like to have a den where I can work. Okay. Is this a closet? Yes, they are. Whoa, <laughs> you have a lot of clothes. I would like a bedroom with a very, very large closet. Okay, so your wish list is pretty straightforward. Are you ready to move fast when you find the right place? I don't know if I like making those kind of decisions. What? <laughs> We're gonna be looking at homes to buy. You're gonna have to make some pretty tough decisions. What do your parents think about all of this? They don't know I'm looking for a place. <laughs> so you've just gone from my parents tell me what to do, they make all the decisions to you completely are doing this without their knowledge and yet you try to tell me that you're not good at making decisions. You are, you're really good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Living rent free has allowed Yenny to save a down payment of $100,000, which is an amazing start. She's approved for a mortgage of 300,000, bringing her total budget to $400,000. Yenny's mortgage payments would be about $1,497 per month. Condos move fast in the heart of downtown, so if Yenny wants to be a homeowner, she'll have to be decisive. So Yinny, I've asked you to bring two people along to help. Who've you brought? Well, Sandra, I brought my brother, Billy. He knows me best, and he's gonna make sure I make a decision. I'm just afraid she won't be making decisions. And if I don't give her that push, you're gonna be working for her for the next 20 years. Who else have you brought? I also brought my friend, Marianne. She's very logical, and she's gonna help me weigh my pros and cons. I wanna make sure Yinny makes the right decision for the right reasons. It's very important to be careful and to be cautious. Well, it's really important to be decisive. I trust my sister's judgment. What I don't trust is her guts. She doesn't have the guts to do it, so I am the guts behind her. Okay, then I'll be her guard dog to make sure that she does make the right decision, that it meets the standards that she needs to, to meet. What I'm hearing here is that Yinny has the ability to talk herself out of anything. So we have Billy that's gonna make sure that's not gonna happen. And we have Marianne who's gonna make sure you're very cautious. I think I have best of both worlds. One person to push me and one person to really look out for my best interest. I know that Yenny is more than capable of making a decision and buying a great home. The problem is she doesn't know it yet. So I'm gonna show her three fabulous condos and help her build the confidence she needs. 
The first one I've chosen for Yinny is a brand new unit in the city's funky and fast-growing West End, only 10 minutes from her office. It has a modern layout, beautiful cork floors, and the light she wants. Priced at $358,888, this unit is under budget and I hope that makes Yinny's decision less intimidating. Yinny's brother Billy is coming along to give his opinion on the suite. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a good response. <laughs> I like the countertops. There's a lot of space. Stainless steel appliance is really good. I'm noticing the floors. This isn't hardwood, is it? No, do you know what it is? It looks like cork. They're eco-friendly, it's a sustainable product, and it's also very warm. So when you're walking around barefoot in the winter... I always have cold feet. <laughs> yeah, cold feet about buying a place. This is where I see a dining table going for you. You could fit a lot of people in this space. I can see that. We probably end up eating at the breakfast bar a lot, no? Not when the whole family comes over. Let me ask you a question. When are you going to tell your parents? When the moving trucks arrive? Are they going to come over? I'm sure they will. This is your living area over here. Sandra, how would I lay out my furniture? Well, I think you could put a nice sectional here because this area is your den. So you could have an office set up in that part of the condo. I think I am used to having a house with walls to play with and not so used to the open living space. You could also tape some newspaper together that matches the size of the furniture that you imagine you will be buying and then place it on the floor to see if it would work here. That's a great idea. Sandra, what's all this construction going on outside? Wait, is there another condo coming up right here? Yes, there is a building going up there. It is a bit of a deterrent, but the area is up and coming. That's the best time to buy an investment property because you will be part of the upswing, so you will make money. I think Sandra's right. Check out the bathroom. Oh, nice granite countertop. What countertop? Ooh. I just see a really silly looking sink. And these two strips of granite it counts as a countertop? This really silly sink is what all the designers are using, what everybody wants. Here's oh. the bedroom. There's no window. No, there's not. And that's where these come in. Because it's frosted glass, you can get the light through it. Not used to that. They prefer the traditional door that I can close with a doorknob. Can I show you something that you will like? Okay, try me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, a walk-in closet. Amazing. I did not expect a walk-in closet in a condo. Okay, this makes up for it. Does it? This is a hard-to-find feature. That's very true. I showed this unit to Yinny because it's a great investment at a comfortable price. It has everything she's looking for. The kitchen is beautiful and bright, and there's lots of storage. Listed at $358,888, this condo is affordable for Yinny at about $1,863 per month. I wanted to show you this area because it is up and coming, so you can get in and see the dollar value, see what kind of a condo you get, and see a good increase of value over a very short period of time. But it's very accessible with maybe a 10-minute ride on the streetcar, take you right to work. I don't think I want to deal with the stress of public transportation. Yenny thinks that she's not good at making decisions, but she's very good at saying no. So we're taking our search closer to the financial district so she can walk to work. Coming up, we're going downtown to a show-stopping condo. Wow, there's windows everywhere. But she finds a problem wow, in the bathroom. Looks it? like a prison toilet. My client Yinny hasn't told her traditional family that she's moving out. She wants a downtown condo, but she's indecisive. I suppose. I showed her a big condo with cork floors, but she thought it was too far away from work. I've picked a stunning condo to show Yinny. It has everything she wants, a bedroom, a generous den, and room to entertain. It's right downtown, only minutes from her office, and that comes with a bigger price, 385,000. Yinny's friend Marian is joining us to look at this corner unit. Check out this sunlight yinny. Wow, there's windows everywhere. It's a corner unit, so you have two walls of windows, which is fabulous. It, to me, this room is in a really oddly shaped triangle. 
It is, but that's easily overcome just with furniture placement. Well, why is the dining table all the way across on the other side of the room? That's the way these people use the space, but if you look up there, this is a lighting fixture for a chandelier, and that's a telltale sign that this is supposed to be the dining room. You could have a pretty big table here and have all that room. Do you actually think you're gonna need your dining room table, though? I think I need the dining room table. I usually, I'm either in the kitchen at the breakfast bar or I'm sitting on the sofa. But if I could jump in here, I can't see your grandmother sitting on the couch and eating. True. <laughs> I think she'll want to sit at a dining room table. <laughs> oh look, there's the lake. Let's go check it out. Look oh. at that. Not only was it a wall of windows, it was with a lake view. What more can I ask for? This is a very private balcony. Not only is it a corner unit, so there's nobody on that side, but there are no buildings directly in front of you and never will be because of those train tracks. Let's check out this kitchen, Yenny. Oh, wow. Oh, this is nice. Granite countertops. There's so much counter space. This looks like the perfect kitchen. This is really nicely laid out. This is a real den. Nice little den. Ooh, little. I don't like that word. This is a really good size. It's not just like a little nook that's been built in. You can get a lot of furniture in there. I suppose this will do. I am so perplexed by you. <laughs> I don't think she realizes how everybody else lives and how much space isn't available for somebody at her age and her price bracket. Have a look. Oh, wow. Stainless steel toilet? Toilet seat cover. Like a prison <laughs> toilet. I don't even know what to say to that. Well, the good thing is you can change it. <laughs> Master bedroom. I like the windows, but I'm not sure if I like having these closets on either side of the bed. I feel like I'm going to be boxed in. You have two closets here. That's the payoff. Yeah, but it's two small closets. Oh man, work with me here. Let's go. I showed this condo to Yenny because it's just a short walk to work. Listed at 385,000, this condo would cost Yenny about 2121 per month. This place really hits the mark in a lot of ways. I'm still not sure about the layout of the living space and the bedroom. Look where you live now, look where you could be living. Every day you come in and you complain about your commute. You're right, this is a really good location. Really on paper, this is perfect. So the question is, can you live with the small little issues? A 10 out of 10, you're never gonna find. I, I would say this is an eight. Okay. For the price, $385,000, that's a lot of money. And there are a few things that I'm not quite sure of. On one hand, Yinny is dying to get out of the family home. But on the other hand, she lets peculiar little things stop her in her tracks. Coming up, Yinny takes issue with a big, beautiful condo. Is this like a public terrace or something? And Billy takes his sister to task. Well, I think it's a stupid reason. My client, Yinny, is finally ready to leave the nest and she's hoping to land in a condo right in the financial district. She's never made a big decision by herself and is struggling to figure out what she wants. I suppose this'll do. We just saw a bright corner unit, but she didn't like the layout and thought the den was too small. The third condo I'm showing Yinny is bigger at nearly 900 square feet. It has a generous terrace and a den that could be a second bedroom. Yinny's brother, Billy, is coming along for the showing. Come on in and check it out, guys. Wow, this is very nice space. Very big. <laughs> you sound <Yeah>. surprised. <laughs> it's really big and spacious. 17 feet wide, as opposed to long and narrow. And I'm just seeing the giant terrace right behind us. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go check it out. Mm, I'm not sure. Is this like a public terrace or something? That is a garden terrace for everyone's use. However, it says that it's rarely used, and I believe that. So it would almost always be private for you. You could plant some shrubbery to give you some privacy while you're sitting here. Um, I'm not sure about that. It's like having a backyard in a condo. Practically have your own terrace, your own private garden in the middle of the city. That is gold. You're thinking party. I know what you're thinking. 
You're not living here. I'm here. Here you go. Wow. This is more cupboards than I've seen. And granite countertops. Stainless steel appliances. That's yeah, big. Yeah, that's bonus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so far it's scoring a 10 out of 10. Um, I would say maybe a 9. Why? What's, the, what's it missing? At home, I kind of have this window above my sink, and when I'm doing dishes, I like to be able to look out this window. Finding a condo that has a window in the kitchen is like finding a needle in the haystack. I love this kitchen. It, I mean, it's, it's big, it has the space. I can agree with you there. There's lots of floor space, and two or three people could probably be in here at the same time. Check out the size of this room. Is this the master, Sandra? This is the den. Oh, is a den? Wow. It's like a second bedroom. There are master bedrooms that are this big in condos. As far as I'm concerned, this is a two bedroom condo. As far as I'm concerned, Billy's moving in. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> that, that's what I was really saying. Oh, great. I'm sure my stuff will find its way here. I'm moving away from home. The fact that this room is so big it could be a second bedroom is huge for rental potential down the road. You get more money in rent, but also resale potential. I could see that. This is the master bedroom. Wow, this is huge, Sandra. This bed is a double, but you can easily fit a queen. You could even put a king size in here. We have enough room to put an office here if you wanted. He's really pushing to move in because his next sentence was gonna be, and I could take the second bedroom. You are reading my mind. <laughs> I know. And let's go check out the closet. Oh my goodness, my dream closet, Sandra. I know, didn't you hear the angels sing when it opened? <laughs> beyond my expectations. I picked this condo for Yenny because it's a great transition from her family home. The kitchen has tons of storage and the open concept living area is wide enough to host her family. But it is priced at $399.9, which is at the top of Yenny's budget. The maintenance fees appear high at $585, but that includes all utilities. Her monthly carrying cost on this unit would be $2307. Okay, Yenny, I brought you here because this condo delivers on so many things. Not only things on your wish list, but beyond your expectations. But I'm sensing that you're not sold on this place. Well, first of all, the kitchen. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to carry my dishes to the dining area. Well, the kitchen is right there. The dining area is right here. Yeah, but carrying dishes, I might spill and stuff. The unit is big, but it's not, you know, 50,000 square foot mansion. It's just a couple of steps too many. I know you're gonna find at least one reason not to choose this place, and honestly, this is a stupid reason. It's steps away. How could that even be a legitimate concern? Yeah, but... Is he right, or is he totally not getting you right now? He, he knows me really well, but at the same time, it's at the top of my price range, so I think for that price, I would like to have something more perfect. It's your home, so you want it to be perfect, and you want this this way and that to be that way, and you don't want that. I get it. But let's also keep an open mind so that we can get to the ultimate end result. I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I do like the living space and how big this space is. However, it's not perfect for me. Yinny thinks this place is expensive, but if you don't want to spend the money, you're not going to get the square footage. And this is where she has to make a tough decision. Let's look at the three condos I've shown her. The one with the cork floors has sliding bedroom doors and a designer bathroom. The corner unit has a great view and it's flooded with light on two sides. The condo with terrace has a huge den and a great kitchen. I think Yinny should buy the condo with the terrace because it'd be great for entertaining and that den would be an awesome second bedroom. I think Yinny should buy the corner unit condo. I think it's a great location, it's a great layout, and it's the perfect first step for her for leaving the nest. How are you feeling about this home search? It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just struggling with making decisions on what I can compromise on. Yinny, I think there's something else going on here, something much deeper than we're aware of. I believe that you are resisting making a decision because you feel like you will be going against the family. Perhaps, like I feel like maybe I need to have the perfect place before I could tell them. And if it's not, then maybe I'll get a lot of criticism. Now I'm starting to understand. So this is weighing very heavily on you because it's a secret. Mm -hmm. And then once you reveal it, they're gonna say, first of all, why did you do that? And why did you do it wrong? I think you nailed this one. <laughs> Coming up, see you made a decision.
My client Nini has never made a big decision without the help of her family. She's breaking tradition and buying a condo by herself. I've shown her three great units where she could start her independent life. The condo with cork floors has a stylish bathroom and sliding bedroom doors. The corner unit is bright and airy and flooded with light. The condo with the terrace has a kitchen she loves and den big enough to be a bedroom. It's time for Yinny to decide, so which condo will she choose? I'd like to make the decision on my own, and sometimes I feel that if I have my family input, it's too much. This is deep change. This will be, I think, the first time in your life that you will branch out away from the umbrella of the family and say, hey, wait a second, this is for me and I'm gonna do it my way. That's tough, I've been there. Can you make a decision for you? Sandra, I think I could definitely make a decision. All right, so what's your decision? I think I'm gonna put my home search on hold for a little bit. I think I'm gonna talk to my parents about my home search and perhaps get their blessing on it and then I will definitely make a decision for myself. I can respect that decision, and, and ultimately, it's the right one for you. See, you made a decision! <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Oh, look, oh, they're here. There they are. Hey. So, hey, guys. So what happened? Um, I decided I'm gonna put a hold on my home search. What, you didn't get a place? Hey, why? Because the rest of my family doesn't know about my search, I think I need to fill them in on it and get their blessing. Yeah, that's probably the right long-term decision for you. You know, Yenny, maybe you started off on the wrong foot by not involving your family off the top. So I think that once you clear the air and hopefully find out that they're behind you and support you, it'll be a lot easier when we pick up this home search again. Yeah, and I'm gonna do it on a clear conscience. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. You're okay. welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> Yinny's in a tough spot. She can't live with her family, and she can't live without them. She needs to get out, but she also wants their approval. When she's ready to pick up this home search, I'll be happy to help her get a place by herself. I'm going to break the news to my mom first because she's the more adventurous type, and I know she's going to support me. It's going to be a little bit harder to break it to my dad and my grandma, so maybe I'll get my brother's help on this one. For more information about this show, please visit hgtv.ca.